I know one thing though. You know, pot is not like alcohol. Alcohol changes your mood sometimes. Like, go to a bar at happy hour and see some just happy motherfuckers there. <laughs> see those guys going, hey, fuck you, my man. Hey, mm. hey, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me, you piece of shit. Mm. Listen, you do not know shit about fuck, my man. You want a piece of yourself? Hmm? Step outside, I'll kick my ass. Come on. I've already shit myself. I'm halfway there. Come on. Come on, you fucker. And some people know you've got to, you can deal with it genetically. You know, if you're Irish, you've got a running start that you can do it better than we are. You know that because if you're Irish, you know, you'll kick my ass, but then you'll fucking sing about it afterwards. Oh! I just said my wife was fat. I knocked you down and shit in your hat. Away the time we go, the way. Coming away for real. Moving the time, my lawyer. And then you keep drinking till you're in your 80s and you're on a dialysis machine doing liver dance and Michael Flatline. <laughs> and they say the Irish saved civilization, drank a couple of Guinness and forgot where they fucking put it. But that's all right. Here's the drill. And the Japanese, they drink differently than us. It is a different thing where you can be very polite during the day and all of a sudden you arigato gozaimasu. And after fire, Jack Daniels. <laughs> Tie a yellow river. <laughs> hey, for God! Karaoke for asshole with a microphone. <laughs> Sing you round that fuck, come on! <laughs> and if you want a linguistic adventure, go drinking with a Scotsman because you can't fucking understand them before. <laughs> you land in Scotland and they're going, Tiddle Cape Ave, if you like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, you think it, eh? Fuck, take it, it's like burning the bullets, that silly, it's like burning the dick of it. Sure. Oh, fuck, sure, eh? <laughs> Man, you know the bullet backside there, tweak your ass on the floor of it, cave it, eh? <laughs> sure. Oh, sure, you dumb fucking bastard. <laughs> you realise that, eh? And you realize how drunk they get, they could wear a skirt and not care. And how they could invent a sport like golf. Here's my idea for a fucking sport. I knock a ball in a gopher hole. Oh, you mean like pool? Fuck off, pool! Not with a straight stick, with a little fucked up stick. A whack the ball that goes in a gopher hole. Oh, you mean like croquet? Fuck croquet! I put the whole hundreds of yards away! <laughs> oh, fuck out, yeah! It's great fun there! Oh, yeah, that's a great thing! Oh, like a bowling thing! Fuck no! <laughs> Not straight, I put shit in the way! <laughs> like trees and bushes and high glass! So you can lose your fucking ball and go whacking away with a fucking tire iron! Whacking away, and each time you miss, you feel like you're gonna have a stroke. <laughs> Fuck, that's what we'll call it. A stroke, because every time you miss, you feel like you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, and here's a bit of that. Oh, fuck, this is brilliant. Right near the end, I'll put a flat piece with a little flag to give you fucking hope. <laughs> but then I'll put a pool and a sandbox to fuck with your ball again. <laughs> You'll be there trashing your ass, jerking away in the sand. <laughs> and you do this one time. Fuck no! 18 fucking times!